and then uh, do the question answering uh, on uh, the uh, knowledge we will be uh, building here. For that one, I'm here right now uh, on the uh, AWS console. Let's go to the uh, Amazon Bedrock. If you look into the Amazon Bedrock, then here on the left side, there are builder tools and you have the options like agents, flows, knowledge base, and then there is a prompt management. Uh, some of the features are in like the preview phase. Let's go to the knowledge base. And in the knowledge base, looks like I already had one created back then. Let me see uh, if I just choose one of the model here. I have the cloud in stand. I want to use it. Let's see who, what is uh, there in the document. Let's see if I have already. If not, we have to create one. Okay, the contents resume information about. Uh, so it just basically provide the references. Looks like there is my resume and what else it has. So yep looks it's completely the resume information I had in the knowledge base mm. so what I can do is that mm. let's delete this one uh, okay let's give it let's do a delete what I had and then oh I could I, I don't need to delete it but uh, I should have created the one knowledge base again so with the same name same role Amazon S3 uh, next let's go to the S3 bucket and then we can upload I wanna today uh, do a question answering on the uh, one of the like PDF download it and show you everything from end to end like uh, how to create the knowledge base and uh, on the lambda function I'll invoke the model and uh, show you how uh, we can use it for question answering. So let's go to the S3 bucket. Okay, here we are. Uh, I think we already have a bucket. Let's see that. No, nope. okay, let's create a bucket. Uh, like my AWS, my. Aaron Bucket, uh, okay, disable versioning everything, uh, public access, okay, for now, let's don't go with other configuration, let's go with the general one and create one. We have to make sure uh, the knowledge base should be able to access that. I want to add files from local. Let's go to the uh, desktop. There is a Lulu AI. This is one of the paper I had previously uh, when I was in the school. I published that. I want to use that one for question answering. So let's put it in the Astro bucket. It's succeeded. Okay, I'll go back to here in the knowledge base let's see if something get updated here next browse okay my iron bucket you can see that there is a sense transition that's 998 that's pretty good recent a size paper so here uh, for chunking uh, there are several ways of chunking the document so uh, it's basically uh, there are four and you can also build the custom uh, how mm -hmm. you want to do that so the default is like you divide the document into 300 tokens in size and uh, basically that's how the whole document gets uh, chunked uh, fill size chunking that's the split you can have your own uh, size of these like tokens not just take like 300 but any of your size behind and the semantic chunking is just like if you have something uh, information that are very similar like matching uh, 
the similarity score is like around 90 95 percent then this information are put together and that's what it's called the semantic sample. so based on the requirement what are the use cases behind how long is your each and every document so you can choose uh, on that one uh, but let's do i want to go with the default <coughs> and there is no tongue you can put a whole document as one chunk so it depends upon the use case i want to go with the default something and then for that one i think i have the access to one of the uh, text uh, t10 text embedding model i want to go with that one so do i okay here is that like important information behind so we will be creating a vector database right so we are creating a database and then for that one we have amazon open source server list so server list uh, i think it's all managed by the aws so you don't need to have an extra effort on managing that if you want to have like add more and more of the documents uh, aws will uh, take care of that one with the scalable so it just had like everything so you don't need to worry about that uh, so when you go to the uh, let's do uh, right now after i create that i'll show you uh, in the amazon open search server list if you go there you can see a uh, vector database is created so you're going to be vectorizing uh, uh, like to converting this document into the numerical form so that the large language model can uh, pick up or understand that database since it doesn't understand uh, what we have like the text uh, and so it's different than the uh, relational database we have so after that so let's hit looks okay we can go and give the create knowledge base so we have created a knowledge base it's in the process It takes a little while. So, in the meantime, let's go and see on the Amazon uh, Open Search. Okay, just give you an uh, idea about uh, this. Uh, in the Amazon Open Search, we have this server list. Uh, let's see on the dashboard. There is a cool feature like collection. It show you how many of these like I think there's two of them I previously created one um, and then it is still here so you can see the endpoint uh, this open source we want it, we can use it if you want to connect it to any of the application and there is indexes uh, you can create a vector index on that one but let's don't go with that one let's see let's be what it is right now so what we have created right now let's see and this is the november 21 so this is the one looks like it's already created here and uh, there you can see uh, so if you have uh, uh, like uh, open source without the server list then you need to take care of like uh, managing or like uh, you have to uh, like for what's the size of the instance you want to use and then uh, you have to uh, manage but you don't need to for like when you have this uh, serverless architecture it takes care you can just throw in with the documents uh, and then vectorize like uh, so uh, it go on increasing the sizes for the demand and then uh, as you uh, go and use it you'll be paying as you uh, use that so that's like a good feature uh, with this uh, Amazon open open source servers sorry uh, the server list let's go back to the bedrock and then see okay looks it's created list there is an option now you have to press here so this gonna sync means that it will be ready for uh, chat so uh -huh. now it's ready i'm gonna choose one of the anthropic model and since this is all about what is this uh, the 
uh, there is a sense used for uh, in the uh, paper okay let's see if there is abbreviation sense it can pull the information about okay I think it did it so a small angle Newton scattering is used in the paper to study magnetic correlations and clusters in nickel vanadium alloys a different length scale ranging from nano so it exactly pull give a very concise answer what actually the sense is like it's a technique using the neutral scattering uh, so that we can have uh, by using a small angle we can see a big uh, big macro macro uh, information so I think it gave the right answer behind so this is a good fit. So uh, uh, in this video, I think I am pretty much doing up to here. So I have created the knowledge base and then showed you how to create that one, create the S3 bucket, connect to the S3 bucket, and also sort something about with the open search. So here you have the chat playground available in the bedrock. So I use one of these like questions to get the answers. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to invoke uh, this knowledge base using the lambda function uh, for this. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you, everyone. Bye. Stop it.